Hi there. Um, we're here to talk to you today about open hybrid clouds. And uh, we want to position first, as you move to building a hybrid cloud strategy, there's a really key consideration that everybody needs to make. It's, it's whether you're going to stick with uh, proprietary solutions or whether you're going to choose open source, open standard, and interoperable solutions. I want to leave you with that thought, and we'll come back to it throughout this presentation. So, as and you know, from talking to the business leaders and looking at the world of the IT world of today, this is what we are seeing, and I'll, I'll walk you through this. Starting with the business units and starting with the developer community, we're seeing a, a, a dramatic increase in demand, in demand for innovation. This is coming from you know the rapid IT world we live in, the you know the development of mobile technologies and, and the um, you know desire to use those technologies across the organization, uh, the growth in web services and web technologies. All this all all this drive and innovation in the open market is really driving the business units developers to look for a much faster time to market with their application development. They're looking for a lot more flexibility in terms of the um, their approach to how they build and the platforms that they that they build towards. And as well, there's a huge cost crunch, huge cost equation with respect to how things are being built and, and how d innovation is being developed. So it's, it's the whole equation of being able to do more for less. So that's what's happening. That's what's driving um, the, uh, the IT development world, if you will. What's happening within the, the organization, though, um, is that the IT groups, if you want to call it traditional IT, is struggling to keep up. Um, they're being asked to deliver resources on demand with really quick turnaround, and this is creating a, you know, a, real, a lot of stress and a real crunch for um, capability to actually deliver for the IT groups. And what we're calling that really is, is an innovation gap, whereby you know, the demand for these resources is not being matched by the, the, the ability of an IT group to actually deliver on those resources. So what's happening is, you know, Innovation must go on, demand must go on, so these resources are frequently are being acquired from the cloud. And uh, you know, you can think of this as being, you know, Amazon Web Services for IAS, everything to looking for point solutions from SaaS providers. And so increasingly, rather than waiting the you know the months, weeks it may take for an IT group to deliver, you know, an IT infrastructure to develop a new solution. Um, the IT groups instead, or the, uh, the development groups instead, are just going to the public cloud to find those resources. The, uh, the business leaders we talk to, they're well aware of this, and, um, and they're thinking ahead. You know, studies from IDC have shown that 69% you know, of IT leaders right now are looking to build uh, some sort of hybrid cloud strategy, or, or cloud strategy, if you will. And um, what this means for, for the IT groups is that their role is also trans, is, is transforming. Instead of being simply, you know, um, you know, a provision or manager of physical assets made available for the development or business units. They're now being asked upon to, you know, also provision virtual workloads, to, um, you know, provision services from pro private clouds. And, uh, you know, in most cases, there's also a public cloud at play too, whether or not the IT group is involved or whether or not the actual, you know, developer community is accessing the public cloud through, you know, what you could call shadow IT. Um, whichever way you know, you, whichever um, way your IT group is currently operating at this moment, the fact of the matter is, hybrid IT is a reality. It's becoming more of a reality. You know, the ability to actually partner with the development teams, with the business units, so that IT group can actually transform, becoming more of a partner and actually a, a service broker, if you will, to provide the right resources for the right purpose, whether it be on you know physical hardware or virtual environments or across a private cloud or a public cloud. That is where the role of IT is moving. Now, there are applications to this. Um, you know, to be able to operate effectively in this manner, you have to watch out for such things as creating silos between you know, physical resources, virtual resources, cloud resources. You've got to watch out for fragmented IT structures, as well as having multiple management platforms. Um, these are considerations an IT group is, is going to have to seriously grapple with. And this really, you know, creates a proposition as to whether hybrid IT, whether the hybrid cloud, is it an opportunity? Or is it a complex nightmare? So 
So that is the question, okay? At Red Hat, we really believe the hybrid cloud proposition is creating a, a huge opportunity for companies. And the way, the way this can be an opportunity is to look towards um, really developing your strategy based on open source. Keeping it open, open, using open source technologies, using open standards, and looking towards interoperable solutions. And why do we say this? Number one, that's the way the market is going. Uh, again, another IC study has shown that 72% of people, of IT groups polled, have suggested that open source technology is, is key to their, um, to their current um, IT strategies, including cloud strategies. But in addition, the reason why you know, we really would, 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 would suggest that the open approach is, is the way to really turn the hybrid cloud into an opportunity is because that is where innovation is happening. Now you can think of it this way, the open source community at this time encompasses you know, thousands of, of, actually hundreds of thousands of um, different open source projects, if you will, or communities out there. But what's coming out of the open source community are such things as, you know, as is well known on, on the, operating, si on the um, operating system side, you've got Linux. And that's obviously where Red Hat is, is most well known to this day. But also when you move into cloud architectures, when you talk about IAS, You've got OpenStack, and the phenomenal growth of the, of the OpenStack community, especially over the last few years. You've got, in the past, you've got OpenShift, the OpenShift community. You've got, in terms of big data, you've got the, the, the Hadoop community and the huge buzz that's, that's surrounding Hadoop at this, time, at this point in time. But also, let's not forget about mobile and take a look at what's happened with Android. In just a few years, Android's gone from an idea to a project to you know, the leading mobile operating system, dwarfing all others with the exception of, of, of the Apple operating system, which, which it has since surpassed as well. So we really think, you know, more than anything, Android really gives, um, when you look at hybrid cloud, really gives a really interesting case study for what's happening with OpenStack and where cloud platforms, cloud infrastructure is really leading to with the, with the development of the IIS platform around OpenStack. So where does Red Hat play into all this? Well, I've run out of a bit of whiteboard here, so I'll make some room for myself. So you may have seen this, uh, when people talk about clouds, they often will show you this, this pyramid structure where you have infrastructure as a service on the bottom, you have platform as a service as the middle layer, and at the top you may have SaaS, or as we would call it, the application fabric. And these are the applications that are being built and run um, on top of that cloud infrastructure. At Red Hat, we have, at the IIS layer, we have the Red Hat distribution of OpenStack. Okay, we also have Red Hat storage. And in fact, we have a full encompassing solution called Red Hat Cloud Infrastructure, which includes our OpenStack, our, our um, virtualization, Red Hat Rev um, solution, as well as our, our cloud management platform, CloudForms, which I'll get to in a little bit. At the platform as a service later, we have OpenShift. And we also have the JBoss, and the JOS EAP product in particular. And at the application fabric, um, um, at the application fabric tip of the stack, we have the JBoss BPM solution suite, as well as integration. So we have a full encompassing solution stack to really fit whatever stage of the, of the cloud solution it is that you might be building. But one thing I really want to highlight is underpinning the entire stack is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And why that's significant is that Red Hat Enterprise Linux has really shown itself to, 